like however fish oh okay something like that and so yeah okay cool so super chill we're chatting stuff don't stress out too much you know and um yeah so what is your name and you, what do you do uh, yeah my name is jay i'm an artist based in dallas yep that's it <laughs> yeah, that's awesome and so are you originally from dallas or where did you grow up? Oh, so i'm originally from south korea but i studied fine art and psychology in boston okay so tops university so yeah, yeah. i just graduated like five years ago and i started my professional career here yeah as an artist yeah so. that's all so you did both psychology and fine art yeah so why why those two together? i mean i was going to become a uh art therapist sure how yeah. but i more study about the art therapist is that actually what i want wanted so but you know the art therapists actually they just let them let people draw the like trees and houses and they yeah analyze what they're what they're having problems you know? so mm -hmm. i mean it doesn't make sense at all because it's i think that kind of thing is uh, based on their experience mm -hmm. it's not from their insight you know so like since then i just gave up and i gave up on my graduate school too so i mm -hmm. just start traveling actually mm. so past five years like i've been traveling all the refugee camps oh wow we're saying i went to greece 2006 17 and i went to bangladesh when i like 2019 before the pandemic uh -huh. so i stayed there for like at least three months with the refugees and i will start realizing that human figure is that explain everything about the human being and so yeah so that's the, i think that was the start making like this kind of shape yeah where it's a lot of deconstructions of yeah. like the human just i guess spirit in a way almost like so how i guess did so how did you end up like wanting to go to all of these refugee camps actually because i feel like that's something just most people just want to think about doing yeah i was when i was in college about studying psychology i was really wanted to study about the isolation human isolation oh, okay because i think everybody thinks that isolation is kind of negative effect but like what i was thinking is like I think it, it could give a like a positive impact for themselves, you know. Right. Like in what so, way? Yeah, like that's why I think I went to the refugee camp because like they are so isolated in the camp, they can, they couldn't go out anywhere. I mean, from the camp because right. they kind of locked up in there. So I think it's more about the study that I'm really interested about the people who are having a really extreme life. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the reason. So I guess what were your biggest takeaways from that experience of going to all of these different refugee camps? Mm -hmm. Like, well, I, what was the biggest thing I guess you learned from it? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, like when you get there, like first few weeks is really harsh, you know, it's cause it's like for near environment with her. But like when you stay there more than like after like three weeks, you just getting like more comfortable with these people mm -hmm. and you talk more about talk to more with these people, you know, and then I think that what I realized is like, I mean, that like in our side, I'm a refugee, I haven't really extreme life, but when you get there and talk with these people and live with these people, you I mean, they actually live their life, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, yeah. that's that's what I realized actually when I went there. So, yeah. yeah. So, because they're all just human. Yeah. Yeah. And they're trying to do the best with what they can. Exactly. So, I guess you mentioned that affected or it kind of led you to your style of painting and stuff. So, I guess what what exactly is your thought process behind these paintings? Especially I, because I know off camera, you mentioned that you paint very quickly as well. Yeah. Before I start working on it, I do, every time I come to my studio, I start meditating. 
Oh, I okay. do meditation at least like 30 minutes like before I started. I mean, just think about the people and then around me. Mm -hmm. But then actually two of my friends, like during the pandemic, I lost my two of my friends. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Like those kind of thing, like I, I'm thinking about the people who I'm thinking about. So like refugees, for example, or my friends who are having a depression, you know, mm -hmm. or the some friend actually having like some kind of a problem. So I think that was a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the more importantly, I think I try to make a balance between like visualization and the context like between those two as if you break the one balance i mean it's just yeah i mean that's what i'm thinking about every time i okay so okay and so have you always kind of had this art style or when did you actually start painting i guess because you said you were in the refugee camps traveling all this up until 2019. Mm -hmm. So did you start painting during the pandemic or? No, I, the, I started as painting like professionally 2017. Okay. After I came back from the Greece. After you came from Greece. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the Greece piece actually. That was Uma actually I met in the refugee camp. Yeah. And then when I saw her bag of her figure, yeah. she was hugging a baby and it just feels like it's telling me something there. Mm -hmm. Like, like she's asking me, like, do you want to hear my story for uh -huh. all day? So like that, that was the painting that I did this 2017. That's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> and so. That's so awesome. Okay. So it used to be all the, like those marks, you know, the movement. It was around the figure before because mm -hmm. I was like, I was thinking of myself as a, like third person mm. in the refugee camp because like I'm Asian and those are the Syrian, you know, yeah, so I was, like they are, yeah, they are like looking at me like a third person, you know, Asian yeah. guy, like you just don't fit yeah, in an outside. Yeah, so that's why I was, it used to be like all the mark making was around the figure, but now. Mm. Now, when you see my painting, it just came to the body. So that's the difference yeah. pre yeah, between the, my previous work and the recent. Yeah. So do you think that's because you feel like you belong here? Yeah, uh, more so? that's what I'm thinking. So when did you move here to the Dallas area? Uh, after, right after I graduated. So that was 2017. Yeah. Oh, 2017. Okay, so you've been living here, but you were just traveling yeah. during the time period. Okay, and so I guess how has the whole experience been then of being an artist here like did you find it easy to connect with other creatives here or i mean yeah in especially teen district we have like for around like 40 artists or in, in this city. oh wow i don't know around the 40 or 30 but i'm not sure how how many artists in here but like i think it's more than 30 artists it used to be like we had only like maybe less than 10 artists mm -hmm before like three years ago but now it's getting bigger and bigger the community is just bigger and bigger so yeah i mean we're having a meeting every first week every month first week first huh. week of May, every month so hmm. that really helps you know to talk with the created people because yeah. you, you are stuck in your studio and we yeah isolated yeah isolated yeah. but that, that i mean gives good effect but like I mean, talking with people I mean that really especially we have the same interest in mm -hmm. all the artists here so that was a really benefit in mm -hmm. this history yeah so I guess it's interesting that you brought up isolation and stuff earlier and how it's not necessarily a bad thing mm -hmm. especially being an artist where you have to spend a lot of time oh, with yourself yeah. the... in your studio working yeah. so I guess what does all of that mean to you? Like, what does isolation feel like for you? I don't know. That is really a good question. And his, I, I used to be an architect actually. Oh, really? I studied architect engineering when I was in Korea mm -hmm. in college. So I worked like five years in, in the architect firm actually. So I mean, 
when I was an architect, I used to work with almost the people. Yeah, you know? huge teams. Yeah, huge teams. Like we yeah. have like eleven teams in the, the company. Yeah, but now it's just working alone here every day. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know actually. Hmm. Like I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it to be alone. Yeah. To work with people. I mean, but you know, it's just. It's really hard process too, because you're just, you have to, you have to decide everything, you know, by yourself, mm -hmm. you know, every decision make your, like, so it's really tough, but I mean, it's really meaningful to me. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you get to have full control yeah. over what you're making. And as you said, like, you are isolated and by yourself while working, but then you're also not truly alone because mm -hmm. you have that community of other artists. Exactly. They can like rely on connect with. Mm -hmm. And so what do you think has been the hardest part though, about being an independent artist? Cause you said you have to make a lot of hard decisions. Oh yeah. So as an independent artist, like you know, independent artist means, you know, what what is the mean independent artist in just this? you make your own art for mm -hmm. yourself okay and it's not like you're constantly making art for say like um, commercial yeah for commercials or for big companies like you're not under the roof of another okay. being everything that you make is because you want to make it for the most part i mean they Give me a different insight mm -hmm. about my life. Cause you're always alone. You're thinking about the life and you're thinking about people's life. Mm -hmm. So you don't talk anyone about it. You just talk to your question yourself uh, every time. And you put into your work. Yeah. I mean that really, that is kind of study and mm -hmm. like, you know, research and study about just it's just i feel like since i became artist so I'm, i feel like i'm getting bigger and bigger uh -huh. it's amazing but, and like in what way yeah I like mean, in just, popularity or? no not popular you know, just myself you know uh -huh. my ego you know yeah and it's kind of yeah so like that's the difference between that like I, where was it when i yeah, when i was, was architect so yeah i don't know it's kind of hard to answer that yeah so, i've been thinking about it like that question all the time but no. it was kind of hard to answer you know yeah because there's not one <laughs> yeah, answer know, exactly. for it. it's there's a lot of things that go into i know a lot of thinking here thinking process going yeah. on here in this studio so like yeah and it's an ongoing thing because as you said you feel like you've been just growing and i guess you've been understanding yourself exactly. as a person and like, as an like artist better when, when, when you're like when you're doing something else like not artist you you never think about like those kind of questions like which is like you don't think about like visualizing visualization between like context like how how you're gonna make a balance about it and you know it just it's different. It's really different. Yeah. And but, so I guess at this point, what does life mean to you since you've spent so much time thinking about life and everything? And if you don't have an answer, that's fine too. No okay. The life. Wow. That's a big question. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I told you I need to. I need the more caffeine. Yeah. Now you're right totally fine. Is that working properly right now? So. No, no, you're totally fine. Yeah. So let me let me skip that question. Okay. Because life, I don't know. I'm still figuring out that thing. Yeah. I'm still figuring out about uh, about the life because I haven't seen much how people living their life. You know. Hmm. So. I went to a few rapish camp, but it's not enough. It was not enough to answer that kind of questions. So. Yeah. So what do you think would help you answer that? Like traveling more? 
I think traveling more, like see more people who are in the danger or the extreme, like in Barley, you know, I think that, I think that might give me, that might help to answer that question, mm. I think. That's interesting that you think you would find the answer in communities of people where there's a lot more pressure or it's mm -hmm. a lot harsher <clears throat> environments. Because like a lot of people, when they think about traveling, they're like, oh, I want to go somewhere fun and beautiful and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. But then you're like, no, I okay. want to like see like where people are struggling and to understand them. Yeah. Like that's like a really interesting perspective, I guess, about that. Uh, nobody, and, nobody asked me about that, but like, uh, yeah, that makes me think about it actually. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I never... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> huh. Is there, like, a personal reason for that? Like, did you feel like, Grump, you had struggled through a lot of that, so that's why you want to focus on it? Or is it just, like, was there something that inspired you? Yeah, I mean, that kind of isolation, isolation. I think isolation is a key word yeah. that I'm trying to figure out. And... And this actually this year, end of this year, around like August, I'm, I'm visiting Indonesia. Cause oh, nice! There's people actually like three thousand families living on the gar living on the garbage. Oh yeah. So that's like Banta Gebang, which is that's that's what they call in that area. Mm -hmm. So I'm going there actually. So yeah, yeah. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, no, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to see like what kind of work you make. Yeah. After right. that experience, right. this so. totally new scene, you know, like they are li literally living on the garbage. Yeah. So, so I guess going back, how is that going to all of these places and meeting these people where there's maybe a language barrier mm -hmm. or like maybe like a cultural barrier as well? Oh, it does. It so, does a like, lot. how how do you work around that? Hmm. I mean, wait, what? The art, especially, I'm, I, I'm doing the painting, which sort of is like visualized process, more of the visualized visualization process. So, I think language is not that kind of important on that this kind of scene, you know, art scene. Yeah. So, you just talk more about through your work, mm -hmm. what are you making. So that's what I'm, what I'm focusing on, actually. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of like uh, social engagement issues, you know, like a Hong Kong protest. Yeah. And I did like wildfire, like which is like, you know, the climate change issues. Mm -hmm. So I've been dealing with those kind of things, but I never, if people ask me about like those kind of issues, I just stop talking about it. I just yeah. showed my work. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. You speak through your art? <laughs> yeah, I okay. speak through my art. That's, That's what you're saying. Okay, so you really... That, that should be enough, you know? Yeah. Because I'm an artist, so... Yeah. yeah. It's the easiest way for you to... Yeah, especially <laughs> to exactly. It's like your relationship with the world. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the... Because I, I realized that, actually, when I, came, when I, came, like, when I came back from the Greece. Uh -huh. I have one painting right here. Okay. Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, you could bring it up. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's big. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll like turn the camera and show it in a second. Yeah. And so, this is the one actually. It's a Macedonia and the Greece border. <laughs> and I, when I show it on my studio, and one of yeah. the women, one of the women came in my studio and she was crying. Wow. She was a uh, Spanish lady and yeah. Mexican lady, actually. Yeah. And she, I, I asked her, why are you crying? And she said, it reminds her remind her like her experiences that's gorgeous so i mean like that kind of you know big impact actually yeah you know yeah this is beautiful it, the colors almost remind me of like edvard Munch. oh yeah that i that is my favorite oh really art to say yeah no i, I always gonna say Munch is my favorite yeah 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 because Literally, like, your emotions, color palettes and yeah. stuff like that, the intensity. Intensity and, like, and emotions, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of his work is really focused on, like, the darker sides of the human exactly. mind. Yeah. And, like, your darkest, lowest point. So yeah, that, everybody, like, yeah. every, I mean, like, most of the audience is actually talking about my work. Mm -hmm. Like, with, like, Francis Bacon. Hmm. But I'm not actually 
into that. Yeah. Francis Bacon, I'm more about into the, like, at Bar Moon. Yeah. So that was a really good point, actually. Yeah. yeah I really like it. Yeah. No, yeah, because I love art. You're the first person, actually. To... Oh, really? <laughs> so, yeah, no, because that just screams yeah. monk to me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, okay, awesome. And I guess what would be the biggest thing that you want the world, I guess, to know about your art? I mean, I would just want them to think about themselves, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, especially depression when I, when I'm, when you are in the isolation, mm -hmm. you're thinking about yourself too much. And especially when I was in, when I was studying psychology and about the suicide mm -hmm. and this brain system is keep telling you, kill yourself, kill yourself, like that kind of thing. Like, yeah, the interesting yeah. thoughts. Yeah. So I want them to stop thinking about it and just want them to think about their energy inside mm. in their body when it's, it's moving. Because when you, do, when you do meditation, I mean, you feel that all the time. Mm -hmm. So that's the actually main focus of my work to think about themselves. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I could ask you like a million other questions. But I don't <laughs> okay. want to take up all your time. Oh, it's all a good question. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no. And, okay, so where can people find you? Online, social media, and stuff like that. Yeah, you can find me on social media, or I just recently I I got older. I uh, recently published on the Dallas Morning News. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, rats. <laughs> yeah, that's so, amazing. So you can find me on my I mean webs on my website or my Instagram, social media, and uh, some online galleries too. I don't know. On, so. Okay. Awesome. I'll link everything somewhere yeah. in the description. <laughs> I appreciate so, it. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Nice like chatting with you. So yeah. Yeah. I love to.